Copy. What's going on? Brecken. Raheem. Raheem is dead. Fuck. Well, get back here. And don't say a word to Jade. Not yet. Shit. Raheem's dead. He lied to me about that bite because he wanted me to blow up that fucking building. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna tell Jade. The truth would be a good idea. Brecken. How did he die? I had to kill him. It was too late. He, he turned. I had no choice, I swear. Look, look, he was my friend, too. He was the best one I had here. I know, I know. He frustrated the shit out of me sometimes. I loved him like he was my own kin. Another dead friend. Another dead brother. I trusted him. I trusted him with those explosives. God, maybe if I didn't leave him there, he'd... He'd still be alive. I... I Jade! Jade! Wait! Jade, God damn it! Just... just give her time. She needs to grieve. Whoa! Sarah! Shit! Get down there! You can't let them take you! <laughs> it's gotta be the GRE. Oh shit. Fuck. Ah, cocksucker. I can't see a fucking thing. I can't see anything. Shit. Alright. Volatiles are coming out. Alright, those two are burning to death. Ah, you son of a bitch. We got another one here. Oh, these are Rice's guys. Alright, he's dead. The guy that. Son of a bitch. I can't see them. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's gonna be an explosion. That is gonna be an explosion. Oh, that's not good. That is really not good. Okay, hold on a second. I gotta make some more Molotovs. Oh, boy, that's not good. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, this is fantastic. All right now, what? Okay. Are you kidding me? 
Oh, there he Oh, okay. <laughs> There's no one inside. They took Zera and drove away. Oh, that's awesome. So, then what? Oh, shit! Brecken. Zera's been kidnapped. His trailer's on fire. God damn it! You see what happens when you fuck with Rice? You should never have hit that school. Some of our people spotted a big knot of bandits heading back to Rice's garrison. That's gotta be where they took Zera. You go there and you find him and you bring him back alive. You hear me? Crane, look, I know I've been hard on you. But after what happened to Rahim, and now Dr. Zera, you have to understand. Reckon there's no apologies necessary. And don't worry, I'll bring Zera back in one piece. Just be careful, okay? And I'm sorry about Rahim. I know you were close. Hell, I love that stupid kid too. Okay, so I went ahead and decided that I'm going to wait to uh, go save Dr. Zara quite yet because um, I've been going through a lot of the story in the past, you know, hour or so. So I decided to go ahead and try another one of the side quests. Um, so we're doing the cease and desist one, going to the slabs, um, and then after that we'll save Dr. Zara. Um, so just to read the description real quick, uh, if you're... Yeah, if you watched a few previous videos back, this mission is the one that was given to me by the guy, the guy in the wheelchair. Um, so this is this, uh, the description. A small group of survivors have settled in the school. Their leader is Errol, the former governor of the province. He says Rice has ordered his execution and that a squad of his men are searching for him at the slabs. Maybe I can catch them by surprise. So basically, go kill a bunch of dudes because they're trying to kill a good dude. Or not necessarily good because I, I, I wouldn't... Yeah, no, that guy seemed okay. I mean, he's in a wheelchair, so he's probably a good guy. Right? That's how that works. Oh. Well, hello there. Are you trying to spit? Ooh. I think you overshot that one, sir. Alright, then. That's Kareem on the radio. Okay. So, I, I just had to be around here somewhere, evidently. Oh, they're all zombies. Errol must be somewhere nearby. I want him alive. The tower speaking. Remember, you cannot reach the tower in time. Basement. Is that you, Ozan? Okay, so I need to get to Gabriel uh, get to five Gabriel Estate. Where is that? Isn't that like right? Okay, no, it's a little bit further further up. All right, we'll do it then. This is five right here. We found five. Ah, found the door, found the entrance. There we are. Find a quiet spot to make it through the night. Stay safe, and we see you again tomorrow. Alright, so, by the way things are going, it appears as though I'm gonna be killing Kareem. Oh, wow, I really like the lighting effects. And, or the lack thereof, I suppose. And kind of the smoke to go with it. Might just be where I have to use my gun. I'm gonna get a uh, Molotovs out just in case. This is quite creepy, I have to say.
Got some string. That's always nice. Also, you notice that I attached a, uh... Shit. Uh, a welder to, uh, this meat cleaver here. <laughs> kind of a silly idea for a weapon, but... Effective. Nonetheless. Alright. I don't imagine I'm only gonna be encountering Kareem here. I have a feeling he's got a couple of his goons with him. Wouldn't be surprised if one or two of them had a gun. Burn! Sorry about that, friends. Wrong place, wrong time. That well, sounds like we got a, uh, a couple more. Whoa! Excuse me, sir. This is it for you. Aha. I forgot about that. Uh, you know, I play the, uh, you know, these little, um, or I play this game in clusters of like two or three hours. So if you found yourself like getting frustrated at me for not remembering to do this and that when I'm fighting, that's because I was playing it for like three or four hours straight. Um, and so obviously I wouldn't remember within that time frame. That one actually seems like it did more damage than this one. No, this is 106. Okay. So probably replace it with that. Okay, so, what can I do with the sickle? Can I... No, 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 nothing like that. Let's see, what else can I do, though? Yes, I can. Okay, what else? Uh, just the hammer I could do with the welder. Nah, alright, so... We'll put the fastball special on this bitch. Uh... Adds small impact boost to your attacks. Yeah, sure, why not? Not quite sure what it'll look like now, but... It's actually the most damaging thing that I have. So that's fantastic. Yeah, no clue what it did for me, but... Honestly, the fire might be... Yeah, the fire cleaver actually probably is a better one, just because it has an elemental effect to it. So if you get hit by that bitch, not only are you, you know... Experiencing that initial damage, but you're also on fire now. So probably stick to this for now. Unless something happens and I don't have time to repair it. And I have to switch. Oh, and it's night. Ow. Fucker. Shit, that was not what I meant to do. Ow, 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 ow. I didn't mean- I, I- I meant to kick, I just wasn't thinking. I pressed, uh, pressed the left trigger. Instead of LB. Oh. I guess he's dead now. Still gotta find Kareem, though. Let's go ahead and craft another bit of, uh, Molotovs. Can never get rid of, uh, get... Ah, Jesus Christ, I am tripping up all over myself. Can never get enough of them, is what I was gonna say. Whew. Oh, did I kill Kareem? Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't need that. Primitive pick. I could use that, though. I guess he has a bunch of, uh, throwing stars. Imagine that's where I'm supposed to go. Just look around real quick. Okay. Ooh. Something gonna pop up at me? No? Not yet, at least. Ah, here we are. <laughs> What the f 
Come on. Alright, fine. Uh, oh! Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I thought I could use this. That was the implication it was giving me. Alright, that thing's useless. He keeps on saying that I can use it, but it's not letting me. Alright. Um. There we go. Tried to go about that a little bit differently than I thought I would, but that's fine. Cream. Bet he's upstairs. I'm just gonna make the assumption that I can't access any of these doors unless they're already cracked open. Oh. Kareem, it's Crane. Drop your weapon or you're dead. What the hell's your problem? This doesn't concern you. Sorry, Kareem, but Errol Asani is my concern. You're working for him? <laughs> You're a fool. I was his bodyguard, okay? After everything got fucked up and they built the wall, we got overrun. He got bitten on the leg. I took him to Randall, the only doctor I knew in the slums, and we cut it off. Clean. It was the only way. He would have turned if we hadn't done it. But the stubborn bastard never forgave us. So, we parted ways. So why are you trying to track him down now? Early on, the authorities evac all the political bigwigs out of the zone. Errol told us there was a chopper on the way to take us out with him. Then he got bitten. And with all the shit that happened after that, we missed the flight. But after you turned on the transmitter, we heard Errol asking for evac. And a couple of days ago, somebody responded. From outside. The old bastards got the flight out, and I want a seat on it. Right, what about Rice? Does he care about this guy? Not a rat's ass. This was my business. I just want to get out of Haran. Yeah, well, looks like you won't be making that flight, huh? That had already dawned on me. But I'd like to walk out of here. Look, if I see you again, I'm gonna assume the worst. You got it? Fair enough. Good luck, Crane. You're going to need it. Hmm. Okay. I bet I could throw a Molotov at him right now. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. Because though I might be an asshole, I'm not always an asshole. Sometimes I am reasonable. This is one of those times. Now having been said, I should probably get out of here. Nope, okay. Goodbye, sir. How do I get out of here now? Do I go back down? It says I need to go up. Ah, oh, okay. That's what that was for.